Welcome back to Educator.com's AP English Language and Composition course. This lesson is on the synthesis prompt. Let's get started. All right, we begin as always with a brief lesson overview. We're going to ask what is a synthesis essay. We're going to look at how to read the prompt and why you should read it twice. We're going to go over how to speed read text and get the information you need without wasting too much time. We're going to pay special attention to interpreting images because at least one text you'll be given will be vis visual. Uh, we're going to talk about the importance of following your instincts. And finally, we're going to look at how to answer the synthesis question. So, what is a synthesis essay? To review, a synthesis essay is a type of essay that asks you to draw information from a variety of sources and synthesize or create an analysis from what you read. So you have to interpret a whole bunch of sources and draw them together into one main point, whatever that point is. A synthesis essay always involves multiple sources, at least one of them visual, a graphic, an image, an infographic, something like that. You don't have to use all the sources in your final essay, but you should examine them all before making your outline. Yes, you do have to do an outline again. All right, as always, you begin by reading the prompt and reading the prompt twice. The first time you read the prompt, underline the directions that you're being given. What are you being asked? Whatever you're planning for your essay, make sure it answers the question. You can do that, you have to know the question. Pay attention also to how you're asked to cite your sources. Are they identified only by letter, A, B, C, etc., or are they identified by author and or title as well? Okay, you're gonna, this is the only essay where you really have to cite sources, so make sure that you're citing them as correctly as possible and as consistently as possible. Consistency is key. Now, the second time you read the prompt, look for anything that might relate to discussions you've had in class. You just might look out and get something that you've thought about a lot or talked about with your classmates. If so, you're in good shape. You're going to put together a fabulous argument. But if not, don't panic. This essay is designed for people who've never seen these uh, elements before and never thought about this issue before. So you won't be graded down just because you haven't spent months thinking about it in advance completely by chance.